on the role of stakeholder engagement then to really kind of go down into how do you do that and why that's important the first point i think is that it's really been um been flagged in the european um the, the, the sustainability reporting standard there that it's really important so there's ESRS 1, which is general requirements, we have ESRS 2 on general disclosures, and there is a whole piece there. The, um, from EFRAC, the implementation guidance 1 is just about materiality. So what it shows you that materiality is really, it's a big deal, it's important, you have to do it. And if you read through these, these three documents, you'll see stakeholder engagement, if you search for that, it's there many, many, many times in there. And there's a lot of, um, a lot of information provided there. I would say there is about 50% um, provided in terms of the framework that it's very important that you need to do it. But the other 50% is that push back to the business and that is we're not telling you how to do it. So this, this is something, a, a, a dynamic, and maybe you already have some views on that, Megan. Um, I found it fascinating that there's a lot, a lot of prescriptive material on you know, at large what we now need to do in Europe. And you know, a lot of companies in Europe, but also outside of Europe, are affected by this legislation. They have ties to Europe, they need to do this. They now know that stakeholder engagement, we already knew that, but it's becoming very clear that we have to get into that. But how to do that is, is pretty kind of left up to a company. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, so I think it's, it's interesting, right? I think there is a lot of like you said, there's a lot of very prescriptive, you need to do this in order to comply with the CSRD and, and FRAG. And then a lot of it's like, but we won't tell you how to do it. So that I think we get a lot of companies that, you know, come to us and say, well, what, what does that mean? How do we interpret this? And I think that that's also a sort of a nuances in how you interpret what it's asking you to do. Um, so the interesting thing I think about the stakeholder engagement piece is that Tim, like you said, ASRS does not mandate specific behavior on that stakeholder engagement, um, but it does somewhat assume that you're doing this due diligence, you know, outside of this, you're doing stakeholder engagement as part of your regular due diligence, um, you know, that you already have mechanisms set up and whatever that is should be informing your stakeholder engagement for um, your double materiality. Um, I think it this will down the road, um, if you're familiar with the CS Triple D, the Corporate Sustainability Due Diligence Directive, a lot of acronyms, um, that is where that is is really essentially underscored, and that sort of more gives you a, a directive on how to do that that stakeholder engagement for the time being, since you know that's that's not um, you know. Uh, Companies don't have to comply with that at this, you know, very current time. Although that is coming very soon, um, I think it's it, it, the CSRD assumes that you are just doing due diligence otherwise. Um, so it's not prescriptive, and we do get a lot of questions on how to interpret these very vague directions that have been passed down. So let, let's 